there's a bunch of undead in the neighborhood. Who you gonna call? Me shown. Except that there's no phones, so you're kinda shit out of luck. What's up? This is Mr. Evil Cheese, and I'm here to review another Walking Dead figure by McFarlane Toys. This is Series 3. And the figure that I'm reviewing is the mysterious sword wielding Michonne. I already reviewed the Michonne comic book version, and I'll probably make some comparisons to that with this one. And as I said in the comic version, Michonne is my favorite character from the comic book. And season three had just started when I reviewed that figure and was saying, you know, hopefully Michonne will become my favorite character or pretty close to my favorite character this season. Because Daryl took that takes that spot right now. And uh well I guess I'll update that if you give a shit what my favorite character is. And whether it's Michonne or not. But yeah. I'll get into that in a little bit. I'll open this up now. And here she is out of the package. Michonne. Honestly, the way they did this cloak she's wearing is just badass. She looks very mysterious and almost evil <laughs> wearing this thing. The way the uh, shadow goes down on her face is pretty cool. Don't see her eyes at all. Almost looks like a Jedi something yeah I'm really happy with this Michonne and uh, I guess first off I'll just show off this cloak before I take it off because I probably won't have it on through the whole thing but I do really like the cloak it's cool she really only wears that in the beginning when you first see her same in the comic book that's basically the only time she wears it is in the beginning that I remember and after that she never wears the cloak again so off with the cloak and there you go. Show without the cloak. And I think she looks pretty good. Like, she does look like the actress. I have no idea how to say the actress's name. I can picture it in my head, like the spelling and everything, but I don't know how to say it. Like, Dame Yager, I don't know. It's about as hard as Michonne was when I first read it in the comic books. I'm like, is that Michonne? 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 I was like, what the hell? But yeah, they picked an actress that has an equally weird looking name. But uh, I really think they picked a good person to play Michonne. She really does look like her to me. And uh, she's got the uh, physical look. Like, like she can kick somebody's ass. And she could really, really good at making a mean face. But I'll get into the mean face thing later. This toy definitely does capture the mean face, though, because it looks fucking pissed off. And that's a problem that I had with the comic version, which I will compare her to now. Well, who's this little darling Mr. Evil Cheese? Ma'am, would you like to accompany me to WrestleMania? Oh, yeah, dig it! Okay, so there's the comic version next to the show version, and I really think the show version captures the look of Michonne much more than this comic version does, because this Michonne looks pissed, this Michonne looks confused or something, and uh, Michonne's not supposed to look confused and slightly happy, it's almost like a Mona Lisa looking look to this one sort of a smile this one looks fucking pissed off and that's the way I like my show also one thing that I like about the uh, show version of the clothes because the clothes of this one's kind of cool I mean it's like 80s almost like an 80s hooker that's what my wife says she looks like a hooker in these clothes and uh, she kind of does it's kind of cool in a way but why does this Samurai wielding badass, very pissed off. I mean, why was she dressed like this? I just, the skirt, I don't get it. And I like the way they did it on the show. They kind of still gave her that pink color coming down, but instead of making a skirt, it's just like her shirt underneath of her vest. And uh, I don't know, I just like it a lot better. It's more realistic. Not that realistic's always good, but still. 
I just like the show version much more when regards to looks. And uh, the comic version doesn't keep this costume forever, but still. I just like the uh, show's costume way, way better. Like I said, the face, the face is so much better on the show version. Getting her, like, attitude in there. And uh, the dreads are better on the show. I like the long dreads more than the shorter dreads. It's pretty badass. Another thing cool about the show version is he's got the sheath to put her sword in. And uh, might as well just go over accessories because that's all she has. She has her sheath to put the sword in and her sword. And obviously her sword can go into the sheath. That would be pretty shitty if they made it just for looks and you couldn't actually stick it in there. Uh, that's what she said. But uh... Yeah, the show version also has more movement in her arm. So uh... Yeah, bend the wrist around and get better sword positions. I think you can, I haven't tried it yet because I just opened it, but it looks like it'd probably be easier to have both her hands on the sword. Well, this one doesn't have much of a grip. Maybe it does. Let me see here. Get the fuck in there. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, you could uh, you can get both her hands on this on the sword this time. Because you can do it with this one, but it's difficult to get her sword into both hands on the old one. And then she's also got this weird bent wrist thing that's stuck that way. You can't adjust that. I didn't really like that too much. I think it's sort of like a way to hold the sword, but I don't know. So you can get her hands on both of them on the old one, but it's... <laughs> reminds me of... Reminds me of Street Rage 2, if you ever play that game. The guy holds a knife like this and just runs and <laughs> rams into you. Like, what the hell? But, uh, yeah. I really do like this one better. But, like I said, I said in the video review for this one, as soon as this one came out, this one's going in the shelf. We're going, not in the shelf. This one's going on the shelf, and this one's going in the drawer. And, uh, that might be true. But, I have both Ricks up there. The, uh, comic and the... Or, no, wait. I don't even have the comic version. I have... The Series 1 Rick and the Series 2 Rick of the TV show, and they're both standing up there on the shelf next to each other, so who knows, I might keep both of these up there too, until it gets too crowded. But yeah, I really like the show version better. Oh! But, uh, that's just for the looks. I haven't really gone over the character in the show, because I might do that. I'll go to the toy first, in case you don't give a shit about that stuff. Um, alright, goodbye, comment for showing. I'm not going to go over this toy much more detailishly. So I kind of didn't really go over the accessories like I said it was, even though there's two over there. The sword. It's, uh, it's a nice sword. It's a little more realist realistic looking than the comic version. The comic's like kind of short and stubby and I don't know. This one's nice and long. And Damn it, I'm not trying to talk sexual. It's just we're talking about a long pointy thing. That goes into something and it's hard not to sound like it's sexual, but whatever. It's a cool sword. It's a cool sheath. Some details there. Nice little texture on it. I think it's supposed to be a little more white than that though. Because it looked pretty white on the show, and here it's like. Looks like a bird pooped on it repeatedly. But <laughs> whatever. Um, what else? Yeah, the, uh, the clothes I do like on this. The pants. Look like the pants she wears. Some sort of uh, cargo looking jeans type thingies. The boots. You know, I didn't notice these boots until um, I seen a close up picture. And uh, I was like, I never noticed those boots. Those are pretty cool. My wife's like, Yeah, I've seen them. They're badass boots. And uh, they are pretty cool boots. Sort of punkish. The jacket's pretty nice. The jacket vest thingy. Looks just like it does in the show. Some nice detail on there. It's unzipped a little bit. It's got the seams. It's got some wrinkles in it. Got all them little... Uh, got them knots and shit in there. It's really fucking detailed, man. Oh, headband. Headband's really detailed with the paint. Much more than, you know, they could have half-assed that. They did a pretty good job on that, I would say. And the uh, hair, 
The hair is pretty detailed. It seems like there could be, well, nah, I guess the hair is pretty good. So these, I have so many Predator toys. I see hair like this. I'm like, what the hell is the little rings they put on their, on the, the Predator hair? But then I realized, oh yeah, she's not a Predator. And uh, okay, she's got her fingerless gloves. Just like on the show. Pretty nice looking. Yep. As for the paint, I think the paint chop's pretty good. And I didn't notice this until my wife pointed it out because I... I said, why is her lip like all, like one lip's one color and the other lip's like pinkish? Why is that? And she's like, that's the way the actress is. She looks like that. I'm like, really? And then I looked and I'm like, yes, yeah, he does. They actually, she actually has lips like that. It's kind of neat, different. It's kind of neat. I noticed it, but they did it on a toy too. So that's really nice detail that they would do that. And uh, okay, she's got that necklace. The necklace looks like it's just kind of painted on there. Let's see, yep, it's just a painted on necklace. That's kind of surprising. That must have been surprising that they were just uh, painted on, but maybe they forgot about it when they were sculpting it. I don't know, but uh, it still works. Like I actually had to touch it with a sword to see if it was actually was painted on or not. So it works. All right, the articulation for this is well, maybe I should. Uh, okay, the color, the color of her skin is better because. Uh, I don't know, it seemed like she was a little darker than this in the comics. Like, you see her on the cover, she's darker, but it, she almost looks like she's just a white person with a tan. And, uh, I thought that was kind of weird. They just didn't get this one right. But, uh, she looks just like the one, just like the actress, I think. It's the right color of skin. It's not really paint, because I'm pretty sure it's just the color of the plastic. But, um, I think that's pretty accurate the show. As for articulation, she's pretty well articulated in the upper body and uh, her arms can basically do whatever the hell you want them to do. You know, they can see basically what they can do just by I'll move around here. Womp, 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 womp. Those are sound effects of this toy. I'm not making that with my mouth. So you could do lots of poses with that sword, with the upper body, head that can look around pretty decently. The hair obviously restricts it a little bit, which kind of sucks, but what are you going to do? And the torso can move here, so yeah, you can, there's a lot of movement here, a surprising amount of movement for right there. and. Um, can't turn there now, but it doesn't really matter. Turn there is important. The legs aren't as good in the articulation area. I'd like to have some more movement right here at the, the hips, especially since he's got a sword and gets in some crazy positions, but you can't move it around a whole bunch because it's just the joints kind of hidden underneath these sort of like rubbery, it's rubbery uh, pelvis or whatever the hell. Move around decent enough, but it could be better. Knee can bend, can spin. It's not too bad with the knee. Foot can move around pretty good. So I'd like more articulation on the legs, but it's pretty decent. If there's more articulation on the legs, you might they might have to uh, sacrifice the look of it, and I'd rather they didn't because it looks pretty cool. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with Michonne. Uh, paint job, sculpt, articulation. Almost everything's really cool with this toy. Uh, there's not really much that bad I could say about it. Just the little tiny nitpicking things that aren't really that big a deal that I mentioned. It's a pretty awesome toy. If you like Michelle and the Walking Dead and sandwiches. If you like sandwiches, you might want to buy this toy. I don't know why. I'm just saying random stupid things because I don't know what else to say at this moment. <laughs> this Michelle is pretty fucking cool. And like I said, she could be a fucking Jedi. I even made a picture of her as a Jedi. And uh, there it is right there. Hey, buddy. Hey, do you have a first aid kit? Kind of got a screwdriver stuck in my eyes.
And you can make her have some Jedi fights, you know, from Star Wars, because, you know, it's pretty fucking obvious she's a Jedi. Look at his cloak. She's got a sword. That's just because she don't want to water a lightsaber in front of the uh, Earthlings and freak them out. So she's got her uh, lightsaber ready for some zombie killing. Maybe even a little short Darth Vader killing. And then that's how episode 7 of Star Wars goes. Michonne gets transported into another time and dimension and is like, I don't know, three feet taller than everybody and has a lightsaber and pokes him in the face with it. And that's episode 7 of Star Wars. Sorry I gave it away. I recommend this toy. Buy it. Buy it now. But uh, okay. Like I was saying, I was going to talk about what I think of Michonne as a character in the show compared to the comic, because in the comic she's my favorite character in the show. She was pretty new. Daryl was already my favorite. Rick's pretty cool, you know, Glenn, Maggie. Even like Herschel. But uh, Michonne comes along, I'm thinking, well, she might just take my take Daryl's spot as my favorite. And uh, I'm going to go over that now. So hopefully I get this video up video up soon because as of now I've seen the current episode which was episode 10 and uh, I think there's what six more to go and uh, season three is over so I got to see a bit more of Michonne but really she's still been in the show that much and you still really don't know much about her and that's kind of the way she is she's pretty mysterious but um She's still not my favorite character in the show. Daryl's still my favorite. Michonne, I don't know how people who didn't read the comic would think of her because it makes me kind of biased. I kind of like her even though I don't know if they're doing it quite right. I mean, she does seem like Michonne. She's very, you know, quiet, antisocial. She's kind of a badass. She's got the sword. But the first few episodes when they get to uh, Woodbury... I think they just overdid the uh, angry, mad, don't trust anybody face. Just a little bit too much, I think. Because I rewatched the shows, and the second time it was just almost laughable how angry she. The, just the facial expressions were just way too much. And now, mid season, it seems to be a little better now. It's not so bad. And that's good. But I think it might have turned some people off because I've heard some people, well not have heard them, but read online people's comments saying that they don't like her, that she thinks she's just a mean, annoying person or something like that. And Walking Dead has some problems with their women characters. I don't know what they're doing on that show. They, Andrea, I don't know how anyone could like Andrea. In the book she's awesome, on the show I hate her. But um, Michonne, I still like her on the show, she's pretty cool, especially when she's killing zombies. I just, I don't know, they just put her in positions where her character just comes off as an asshole, and and um, if she kind of is supposed to be an asshole, like in the books, like an, a good asshole, <laughs> you know, she's supposed to be kind of like, you know, like a Mad Max, or like Clint Eastwood's characters or something, just like the silent, but a uh, badass, good guy, and uh, that's... I mean, that's what they're kind of doing on the show, but they put her in positions where, I don't know, like in that one episode, like when Rick asks her if she knows Andrea, and she doesn't answer. She just stares at him. It's like, why? Why do they do that? I just, like, it's, they already showed that she's, she pretty much decided on them. I think she decided she trusts them, and she's not going to tell them that she knows Andrea. I don't, this was weird. Now, I know some people I read online got pissed off about when she first made it into the jail, about how she acted towards Rick and them. That part didn't bother me. I thought that was right, the way they did it. Because she walked up to that prison with the uh, formula. She did personally go there. However, I don't think she planned to pass out like she did. And then when she woke up, she was in the jail. They, wouldn't, they had her sword taken away from her, just like it would bury and they were going to lock her up and, you know, basically tell her what the people of Woodbury told her. And that 
put her in a position where she probably felt trapped just like she did before. I don't think that's what she intended to happen when she went to the prison. And also, they purposefully show her watching from the cell at Rick, seeing the baby and seeing Carol. And uh, you can tell that she's trusting them. She sees that they're good people. And later in the show, Daryl and uh, Rick, well, I guess that'd be the next episode, Daryl and Rick, Michonne, and uh, what, that guy, that guy that got killed. <laughs> Shit, I don't want to be giving shit away. But uh, they're walking towards Woodbury, and um, she overhears Rick telling Daryl, you know, thanks for watching out for the kid. And Daryl's like, that's what we do. And they purposely show Michonne, show that she's listening to that. Like, she's realizing these are good people, not like the people in Woodbury. So I really think the way they did that was right. It's just some people I don't think picked up on it. They just saw her as being just an asshole, even to, to Rick and the good people. But, uh, yeah, like, also when they made it into Woodbury, and then she doesn't know where to go, and they kind of, in the group, Rick and them kind of get pissed off at her, and obviously she gets defensive because she doesn't know exactly where to go from there. And, uh, that can make it just seem like she's an asshole there, too. It just didn't seem fair. I hope they don't screw her character up, but because it is an awesome character, and... It could be a fan favorite on the show, too, if they do it right. So that's what I think about it. I think, in a way, I like her better in the show, in the comic, but I also like her in the comic better, too, just because she comes off as more of a badass hero. And so far, she hasn't got to do a whole lot. She's fought with Merle and his group. She killed a few zombies, but... Yeah, she really needs to get her, you know, moment. Oh, and that reminds me of another thing. I don't think they're going to have much more with her and the governor. But her and the governor, their confrontation in the uh, book is just so much more brutal. What he does to her and what she does to him is just so much worse. So much more graphic. And like I said in the comic review of the toy, I didn't think they would go as far as they did in the comic. Even though the show's gory. And it looks like they didn't. They didn't even do half of what they did in there. And that, in the comic book, I really think helped define Michonne. And it kind of sucks that it didn't really happen as much on the show, too. That reminds me, another thing in the show they did wrong was they did pretty good at showing that Michonne was smart. And then they show her with, you know, Penny, you know, the governor's daughter. And. After she sees these zombie heads, she doesn't think that maybe that this chained up person in the closet is a zombie and just unshackles her before she pulls the hood off. I don't know. That's just they shouldn't have done that. Like I said, I think the actress they picked was awesome though. She's a good actress. The only thing I think she did was maybe that over the top angry face in the first few episodes, but when she does get to talk, which is rare, I think she does a good job. The way she walks, just the way she carries herself, just reminds me of Michonne. So I think the actress is awesome, the way she's portraying Michonne. And that's what I think about that whole thing. I'm Darth Vader and I have a breathing problem. You're Darth Vader and you smell like a condom. That's because my suit's made of fucking rubber. Click on the toy to see the review. If it's not there yet, then, you know, it will be there soon. And watch that zombie party video, damn it. It's awesome. I got drunk, my wife got drunk, we made a video with a bunch of zombies having a party. It's awesome. Damn it, I said it's awesome. Fuck.